ideas for you. So, actually, Virginia from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here, and she also has a helper. I do. Can you introduce yourself? Her name is Delaney. It's so, Delaney, yes. Delaney, yes. yes. Let's talk. What are we making today? Well, you know what? I'm Swedish by heritage. And so when I was about Delaney's age, Brittany, I started to learn how to make Swedish meatballs. Okay. Okay, now Swedish meatballs, this particular recipe is from my family. And it has ground beef as well as about a pound of ground beef and then a half a pound of ground veal. Ooh. So it makes it a nice smooth texture. And then what you do is you mix together some breadcrumbs and some milk, and that okay. stands for a while. You put in a beaten egg, of course, some onions, and then these. There's a variety of spices when you get into the um, when you get into the <laughs> Scandinavian cultures. Okay, but this recipe has salt and pepper. It has garlic salt, and then I have some nutmeg. Is mm -hmm. the secret in this one? Ooh. And then you stir it all together. And you know, when we make burgers, we tell you not to stir them too much because they get too compacted. So it's better to, you know, kind of lightly toss a burger hmm. and make them before you put them on the grill, okay. for instance. But with meatballs here, it's very important to really stir them so you get a good compact texture because then you're going to roll these. Now, rolling meatballs is fun. I noticed, yeah, she keeps dipping her fingers yeah. in the water just that so helps they're. So it doesn't stick. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I learned it from my grandpa. What can I say? <laughs> right. And he used to sit the with me. The tricks of the trade. When he was, so I'm saying for family reunions, it's great to bring a family, your, your heritage, your ethnic mm. heritage recipe. I know that some families do these and then they make a cookbook. Brittany. That's a great idea. Isn't that a great idea so that you keep those recipes? Otherwise, you know, sometimes our older members of our family, they, they pass on and then we can't remember how to make one of their favorite dishes. Which is terrible. So, which is terrible. So we make all these and then I have butter here. And how, about how long do you need to leave them it, well, you on the grill or in okay. the pan? I'm rolling them. Okay. <laughs> and this is a great pan to roll. You want to keep them rolling and if they stick a little, it takes about, it might take five, maybe it'll take 10 minutes. And what I do is pull one out and cut him and have a look and be sure that he's totally that he's totally done in the middle. And is this so, sauce as well? This is a sauce that you make then, and it's like a cream sauce, and it's very Swedish. And it has some beef broth, some sour cream, of course. Ooh. Oh, and butter. So you can just dip it and, and serve it. Dip it. Or you may dip it. Now, this one sat for a while. But you could serve it like here. I have different ways to serve it. This would be over buttered noodles. OK, great. And then it's great, and you put the sauce in. And then you put just a dash of dill. Now, if you're Scandinavian, you know that dill is a favorite seasoning. Well, great. We'll, we'll also have this recipe on our website, Fox 6 Now. So if you're interested in these Swedish meatballs, then we'll have it there for you. So thanks for joining us, Virginia okay. and Delaney. And enjoy your summer. We'll be back after a short break. Stick around.